Uh, during your uh, your team's uh, recent uh, run of success, seven of eight, I guess uh, you felt all but you held all but one of your opponents below their scoring average. Uh, what's, what's been behind this the defensive effort that the team is seemingly uh, making? To we had to do it to have a chance to win. Uh, you know, we've not necessarily been great offensively ourselves, so we've kind of had to buckle down to give ourselves a chance. And uh, we've had some stretches where we've played really good defense when we've gotten ourselves in uh, trouble and uh, just kind of taking each possession seriously and tried to give ourselves a chance. But I think their just focus has been better. You, you talked in the past, Mike, about how sometimes it takes a couple of years to, for a team to learn how to play good defense. And you don't have a Jeremy Jason Collins type of body on this team, but given what you have physically, are you pleased with where they've come defensively? Um, well, I, I don't, <clears throat> I think guys are capable, uh, you know, as individuals, Justin can be a good defender when he's focused. Uh, Allen's length gives people problems. Ty's length gives people problems. Um, so, um, you know, we, we've been pretty good by and large defensively. We haven't been great, but we don't give up a lot of other than offensive rebounds. That's the one thing that's really hurt us. We've given up too many offensive rebounds. We're not giving up a lot of fast break chances. We're not giving up a lot of uncontested threes. Uh, we're not getting beat a point of attack that much. Other than offensive rebound, we've been pretty good on defense. When did you see that start to happen for you this year? Uh, well, I, I don't think it's any different than it's been. I just think we were able to figure out that that's something we have to do to have a chance to win. Is that, uh, we've, we've gotten to where we, if we don't get some stops, we're not going to win, and they seem to just pay more attention and get after it a little bit more. So uh, it's, it's just something that's kind of evolved. Is it internal among your players, or is it the, is it coaching that you have emphasize, or is it the? It's obviously the coaching, John. <laughs> right. No, but we've always. I mean, it's it's always something we've stressed. Uh, you know, I, I'm a believer in taking away the high percentage stuff, which is the fast break stuff. Taking away the second shot, uh, not given making them have to earn it against half-court defense. I think that's how you have a good defensive team because fast break stuff's high percentage stuff. Um, and obviously, typically, putbacks or second chance opportunities are high percentage stuff. We've tried to stress that that's what we need to take away and uh, make them play against half-court defense. And if you can do that, you're generally going to be better. And with Colorado on Saturday, that, those are two things they, they do pretty well. At Colorado's a very good defensive team. Um, actually, Utah's maybe. What, no, but I'm sorry. What I meant was their offensive rebound and their ability to get out of transition. Those are two things where you have to really. Get yeah, we stressed it against Oregon, though, and did a good job with it. Um, you know, we, we felt like that was something that was really an integral part of their game. We stressed it against UCLA. We felt like that was something they needed to do to get out and go. And we thought we did a good job there. So the teams that have really relied on pass advance, getting the ball, putting the ball in our athletes' hands at point. Uh, with pass advance, we've done a pretty good job of taking that away. Uh, again, we still have not given up way too many offensive rebounds, and that's something that we uh, constantly work on. It's, it just has been a struggle for us. Robert talked about how when things weren't going well on the offensive end, it could kind of bleed into the defense, but now he thinks the team's kind of buckling down in those moments. Is that something that you well, I, I think that um, that when the ball's going down, it does tend to give you a little bit more, oh, boy, we're really playing good, let's go play defense. And it's a little bit harder when the ball's not going down. But, I, again, I just think they figured out that, you know, we're, we're not scoring the ball like we'd like to, so let's, let's see if we can't find a way to get some stops. And they've kind of been able to do that. And thank goodness, because we – you know, we would. There have been some games we would not have won had that not happened. Was there a time where that started, where they kind of figured that out? Well, <clears throat> maybe Oregon here. You know, I didn't think we played particularly well against Oregon State here, but I thought against Oregon, I think it was kind of the whole package that we just we played really hard for 40 minutes, 
kind of carried that over on the road to Arizona, and uh, but it was probably right about then. What are you seeing from uh, from from Justin on your most recent road trip? He his shot were the last two points you had in both those games and. Uh, Pac-12 player of the week. What are, you, what are you seeing from him? Evolving? Well, he's. <clears throat> we've tried to get him to shoot the ball more. He's kind of a reluctant shooter. He kind of picks and chooses when he shoots. We think he's a. We think he's a really good shooter. If he goes hard and gets a foot down and jumps up, he's he's a high percentage shooter. Um, he has his own way to get his his rhythm, and um, he likes to get in that rhythm. So. Um, he's gotten more, I mean, you know, we've depended so heavily on Alan Crabb that uh, I think everybody's always been looking, and I kept telling him, look, you can't just look for Alan Crabb. Guy's going to have to help. And he's gotten better. He's gotten where he's taking big shots. He wanted at the end of the Oregon game, although uh, I think that was partially because he turned the ball over so much, and he was feeling kind of bad that he wanted to kind of make up for it. But he was, the last possession, I mean, he looked really good getting that shot off. What did you mean when you say he has his own way of getting his rhythm? Ah, well, he doesn't just catch and shoot. He just doesn't. It's not like inside, outside, get a foot down, shoot it. He has his kind of has a way that he feels comfortable getting a shot. He obviously wasn't comfortable at all there for about the six game stretch where he just couldn't make a basket. And suddenly, the last eight or nine games, it's going in again. What was it? What do you think well, he's put a lot of work in for one. Uh, he is. Uh, he's been coming early. Before practice, he's been coming early before games. He's been working. Theo's been with him, and he's been shooting a lot of shots. And uh, yesterday, he shot 300, made 300 game type shots. So he's been working at it. He made like 300 shots. Uh, think so. Yeah. Yeah, that was what yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Seems like Richard's been a different player this last month in terms of everything from body language to heavy play. Do you attribute that to anything or? Well, he, you know, he lost most of last year, so the growth that he would have, sh would have, and should have had last year is, <clears throat> was lost. Um, he has played better. I think he's playing with more confidence. A lot of his issue is just mental. Just, you know, certainly physically, he sh he looks pretty good. Uh, he seems to last longer, not get tired as fast. Uh, has been able to make some big plays defensively. He's made some big plays. The, lap, the mental lapses have been less. Uh, didn't have particularly good Saturday, but um, you know, by and large, he's been a lot better. So uh, hopefully he can grow on that. Does he also seem to understand what it is you guys need from him better? Yeah, he has certain things he doesn't do, and uh, he sometimes still tries to do them, and we're trying to urge him to go other places to make plays. Percentage-wise, if you look at if you do this, you're better than doing that. And um, and he gets down on himself. When he gets down on himself, he fights a little bit. And uh, when he just needs to push through, and uh, he's had some games where he's been very good on the boards, where he's gone up and, and gotten very aggressive and uh, been really good on the boards and physical and tough. And so it's slowly emerging. A couple of, both your players made reference to last year when you played the same three teams at the end. And and are you comfortable that because they went through that, that they're going to be no looking past to Utah to Colorado? And no, not comfortable at all. <laughs> not comfortable with anything. Um, it's this been a, you know it's been a hard group a year a whole year getting them to focus. Um, you know, obviously it was a huge win Thursday at Oregon, and I didn't think we had their full attention on Saturday at Oregon State. Um, you know, we started off well, but we missed a lot of shots, point blank, and then we kind of, so it, it, we're never out of the woods. We just, um, just got to go one at a time. Utah is scary because they've played everybody tough. They're, they're very good defensively, and, and uh, so, you know, it's, uh, no, we're not, we got to, every game's going to be tough. And how's the, uh, the stamina level on your team? Uh, last year, you Tailed off quite a bit towards the end. How, how's the uh, um, still fresh or still have a lot left? Or I think Allen's probably wearing down a little bit. He's probably leading the league in minutes at 38. Um, we've got a decent rotation, I think, with most of the other guys. Um, Ty, as a freshman, you'd expect to maybe hit a wall a little bit, uh, but I, I think we're okay. I mean, I 
Brandon's, you know, having Brandon back has really helped, and we've been able to play three or four post guys. So, um, but every game we've played has been close. It's not like we up 30 and could put anybody else in and cruise. It's just every game's had required, you know, the, the better players, veteran players, to be on the floor at the end. So how do you coach focus? <laughs> that I, I'm not real sure. That's kind of a. It's kind of a thing that just comes with the territory. You know, certain players that you know can really have the ability to focus on things, and others that have a difficult time. Have you had a group in your thirty plus years where it's like they all of a sudden you see them get focused? Like, well, does this stack up in terms of that kind of a challenge? I'm sure I had some Montana that were you know you had to kind of stay on a little bit, but uh, it's just it's. It's just having guys that love to work hard every day, and, and just that's just their nature. Uh, as compared to some guys get distracted, and there's other things going on in their lives, or school works tough, or you know, girlfriend told them shut up, or whatever, and they just whatever. Uh, it's just been a hard group to keep them. They've gotten better, they focus longer, concentrate better, and that's I think why we're doing well. Have you seen? Is this one of the better progresses you've seen in terms of like no, I don't, games? I don't think about I just think about the next game. Do you think this group's style of play has evolved at all, or is it more just a question of the guys executing what you well, I think they have a better idea of what they can do, what what each guy's gonna do, what, how each guy's gonna contribute. Um, you know, we still make passes to people give the ball to people in areas where they really shouldn't have it because they're not going to do anything with it. It's like, oh, you know, he's open, so I'll give it to him. And truth is, he's not going to do anything, so don't give it to him there. We still do that too much, but uh, I think guys know what who, who does what. And uh, uh, we've had some, I mean, games where we've made plays at the end, and other teams have had games where they've not made plays at the end. They've lost, we won. Uh, it's kind of the name of the game. Would you say your inside passing game was, or passes have gotten better? It seems like you're scoring more on, you know, whether that's by design or just the open man, so the, the short passes inside to the post? Well, the more penetration you get where the post has to step up, you know, there's such an emphasis on Allen and Justin that, that I'm sure post players said you can't, you know, you've got to guard those guys, and that they've been able to drop the ball off. Robert is really good catching a ball facing the basket, for example. Uh, not quite as good with his back to the basket, but if you get Robert a drop off, he's he's very strong, and he he goes up quickly with the ball, um, and so that's you know that's something we have to understand and try to get him the ball in those spots rather than you know you can't just give it to anybody every place and expect him to make a play. Tyrone hasn't shot the ball particularly well during this stretch until last Saturday. Do you think that game he sort of figured out what he has to do again? Uh, it's a process for Tyrone. He's got some mechanical things that he works on, and uh, sometimes it feels pretty good coming out. Other times the mechanics aren't real good. Um, the thing about Tyrone is that he doesn't let it bother him. I mean, he doesn't lose his confidence. He'll shoot a shot. He'll shoot a big shot, and he's made some big shots. He's He gets to the basket, and he's got some length, and he's kind of used to kind of that little floater, and it uh, works Generally, some other teams don't work quite as well against. But, you know, he's he's ends up with points, and you're not sure how he got them. It's just a bucket here, a bucket there. But, uh, you know, he's he's learned a lot, I'm sure, this year coming in and probably would never expect it to be in the situation that he is, but he's really held up well. Is he also a kid who doesn't let, you know, some shortcomings on offense bother him at the other end? <coughs> well, he's gotten victimized some. I mean, there's no question. I mean, you can see the veteran guys sometimes take advantage of him just because he doesn't know. You know, they'll physically push him and do things to him, and you know, which he's not used to. Uh, but again, he doesn't let it get him down. He'll he'll come back and make them a big defensive play. But there are times when he gets uh, taken advantage of, if you will, like most freshmen do. How much work is he going to have to do before next season? Is it a tweak on his shot, or is it a complete? I just got to get some confidence in it. That he's 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 close. It's just it's your release and where the ball comes off. I think he has probably one hand involved a little too much. But he's a kid that works hard and really wants to be a player. And I think that he'll just see him get steadily better and better. You, you mentioned Utah has played really good defense. Has their problem been on offense mostly? Is that what you? Uh, yeah. You know they've turned it over quite a bit. 
Um, but they, you know, he's got them doing a lot of really good things, and they've he's obviously got their attention. But there are times when they struggle scoring the ball, and I mean, gosh, every game, every tape we watched, they were ahead late. They were when when the basket late, had the ball late, and just couldn't just couldn't finish, whether it be home or road. So you know they're. I mean, overtime, first two games at Arizona, at Arizona State, they're one basket away. You know, if they win those two, it probably changes the whole complexion of their season. But uh, they're just not, haven't been able to do that. And he's got five freshmen playing. And, uh, but he does have their attention. They're playing hard. And every, every time you see them, they're doing something new. And, uh, you know, they'll trap and they'll zone, they'll match up, they'll do all kinds of things. Creflo done for the year, or is there a last? Uh, he's he's pushing a little bit right now. We'll see. Do you have any expectation of him playing? I don't have any comments.